Hello YouTubers, it's me, Kyle, again. Uh, I'm gonna uh, show you another uh, interesting uh, piece of radioactive material from the radioactive box. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. And yeah, let's see what we're gonna look at today. Here. Put this away. All right. Now let me move the box away. All right. This right here is called Econite. This is a gemstone and it is radioactive. It is mainly a thorium bearing mineral and uh, this is actually a uh, faceted uh, paracut gemstone and uh, it's a uh, dark olive green and is uh, actually it's uh, it's quite rare, quite expensive, $186, and this is a 2.17 carat stone. And uh, you can find them. They are expensive, and uh, they're actually pretty hot. Um, I'll show you the reading here. Um, first, let's get a look at it here. Um... If you take a look at it, you can you can see through that it is uh, it's a uh, it just looks like a you know it just looks like a regular gemstone like a, like I guess a asparagus stone which would be uh, apatite for example or maybe even peridot but it's but it's not this is uh, aconite and uh, it's actually a quite very beautiful stone uh, it's got uh, a beautiful uh, it's internally flawless I mean it, it has no chips or cracks and uh, it's transparent and uh, well let's go ahead and take a, a reading from it from uh, the uh, therapy here. Now I'm gonna remove the case like we did in the last video and remove the I'm gonna remove the panel here so we get a better reading. Let me expose the Geiger Mueller tube. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on and let me set the threshold to zero. Okay. And there we go. Alright. Let's I'm gonna pick this stone up. It's cut and polished. It's a very beautiful stone. Um let's see if you can get a better look at it here. I'm gonna get my light here and shine it through so you can kind of get the idea of what it looks like and uh, it's uh, actually a very interesting stone um, before I get a reading on it um, actually I'll do this at the end let me go ahead and show you the radioactivity here I'm going to put it up at about zero distance, as close as I can.
Okay. That's uh, about uh, 11.17 microsieverts was the highest reading we got. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Alright, it may not be as radioactive as uh, uh, the last item I had, but I find it to be a little more interesting, uh, especially the fact that it's a gemstone. Um, it, it is safe to wear it like as a ring if you wanted to, or a bracelet, you know, if you, if, you know, it's, it's not, you know, extremely radioactive like, the, you know, a lot of radioactive materials are. Um, now I'm going to pull out the old uh, CDV right here, and uh, it's kind of hard here, I'm going to try my best to, but uh, I'm going to take this stone, I'm going to put it up to the uh, tube here, I don't need to pull the handle out, so I've already got the beta shield open, I'm going to put it on times 10. And I put the stone up. I'm just gonna set it in here. Okay, it's about as radioactive as the test source on the side. And the test source on the side is uh, depleted uranium. So it reads about about 2.5 millirems per hour. Okay, let's turn this off. Okay, let's uh, let's study this a little more here. I have this book here, and uh, if you're into minerals or gems, this I'd recommend this is a great book. Any kind of little field guidebooks are great to have. Um, Gemstones of the World, Revised and Expanded Edition by Walter Schumann. Uh, this is a very, uh, very great book. It has many different gemstones. And uh, I actually have a collection of different gemstones. I have this stone. Uh, this stone here. I have a lot of gemstones. Dioptase, Apatite, Sphene. But, um, Aconite's actually listed in here. It's actually uh, one of the, uh, it's a collector stone. And let me find it here. Alright, the, these illustrations are 40% larger than the originals. So this stone's actually larger, but here it is right here this is uh, Econite and 12 right here this is the stone I have and uh, right here this is Econite right here Econite dark green also yellow light to dark brown transparent Translucent most hardness 6 to 6.5, density 3.28 to 3.32. Originally tetragonal, later amorphous due to persisting radioactivity. The chemical structure thorium, calcium, silica, and oxygen. The data of the crystalline aconite is somewhat different from that of the amorphous variety. Vitreous luster, radioactive. And this here, this is aconite. And uh, it's a beautiful radioactive gemstone. And uh, I also wanted to give my thanks to those who uh, left positive feedbacks on my uh, previous videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And good night.